Hello everyone and welcome to a, uh, a brand new video uh, and today we're going to be watching my very old <laughs> FNAF theories. So right now I have 7,000 um, and like 20 subscribers which I am very proud of. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining. I'm not sure what I call you guys right now. The ozone army, the ozonators, <laughs> I don't know, you ozones, um, maybe you could leave a comment below saying what you could be called, anyway, um, yeah, I I actually have 7,000 subscribers now, and you're probably wondering um, what my old videos used to be like, they were very bad, they were very bad, I had, I had a channel before this channel, and I did random stuff on it. But I want to see my first ever FNAF theory and react to it. Um, I know, like, like the last time I saw it was like a year ago or something because I added these like funny subtitles like mocking me. I might turn them on while I watch it. But basically, in order to see my <laughs> my oldest videos, you can just click sort by and then they added oldest, and then it comes up with this. <laughs> oh no. So, uh, yeah, I've updated the thumbnail and stuff as well. We've got loads of um, science appliance videos, which is great. Uh, loads of live streams, doing Undertale, defeating Sans. Um, that, that's f a four hour stream, and I think there's another one. There's, an there's a three hour one. Yeah, I, it took me a while to defeat Sans. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this video. FNAF Circus Baby's Tragic Story. So, I'm kind of excited. Should I should I be scared? I think I'm scared. I think. <laughs> Let's have a look and see how how off I was from three years ago. This video has 12,000 views, so uh, thank you. <laughs> I can make ice cream, although I only did it once. I remember being so happy with this then edit. Four, then three, then two. You can hear the casual bongos. When there was one, a little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself, and I stopped singing. My <laughs> what am I doing? Opened. Yeah, blah blah blah. Move, at least not until, until she, she stepped closer. closer. There was screaming for a moment, but, but only, only for a moment. moment. I'm still terrified of that sound. I just realised it's going to be so loud for you. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, first of all... <laughs> I was so happy with that edit, as I said. I was so happy. Um, it was a terrible edit anyway. It was the mini game with the thingy layered on and the casual bongos and then at the right time it went, ah! Um... <laughs> And then this really bad intro. <laughs> you can tell I didn't animate this. You can tell I just took it from somewhere else. Oh my god, and it's a sister location. Oh my god. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome. Ah! <laughs> what is this? I remember doing this. I remember literally making this like it was yesterday. Um, I remember I made one without a mouth and then I made one with like an O and an A ah and a mouth closed and now it looks like I'm speaking. Theory Thursday, the show where I create theory. Even though it's really off. <laughs> Man, you can see how, how much better my editing has got in three years. And if you haven't, then um, I'd go and suggest watching uh, one of my FNAF, my r most recent FNAF Unsolved videos. But wow! I can't believe, like, how bad I was at editing. And my voice! My voice is so high! <laughs> ...that can be half proven about, well, anything, really. Let's yeah, the plan for my channel at the start was kind of like a, like a game theory channel where I would make theories about games uh, basically copying the game theorists 
but then slowly I realized that FNAF was getting me most views so I, I just carried on with FNAF and, uh, and now I'm here <laughs> sister location oh Scott my Quarters, god newest installment to the FNAF franchise and I must say probably one of the best games in the series you you can you can tell I watched Game Theorists back uh, three years ago. <laughs> this is this is like someone trying to edit like um like like the Game Theorists. Seriously, there's so many more mechanics added to the game than just staring at cameras, closing doors, flashing lights, and putting on a Freddy Fazbear mask every time oh. you see a wild. Ch I'm actually. Oh no! I made like really. <laughs> Bad, like, fan art. <laughs> Closing doors, flashing lights, and putting on a Freddy Fazbear mask. Oh, that is, a, that is such a low... Why would I use that picture? That is so low definition. Every time you see a wild cheek or a bonnie or something. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, and don't forget about the puppet. The box. <laughs> yeah. Easter eggs in the past five games, <laughs> including <laughs> FNAF World, have been completely weird. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Random. And surprisingly, that doesn't change in terms of sister location. It's also pretty clear that the endings of all the games are the most interesting parts. FNAF yeah. 3. <laughs> Purple Not guy sure is killed in, his b in a, by a spring trap suit. <laughs> yeah. You can tell I, I was just lazy editing. Like, I've always liked editing. That's the part about YouTube which I've liked the most and, and video production. Um, it's always been a hobby though. I, I've never done it like in school or anything. I, I just taught myself. I'm self-taught. But um, you can tell I was I'm lazy sometimes. Uh, even nowadays, I'm quite lazy with my editing. Um, but this this was just lazy. You can tell I spent like um, a few hours on the first like <laughs> minute and a half, and then I, I it just decreased as the video went on. Five nights four. Crying child gets a contagious bite by a yellow Freddy suit. Contagious. For world, the creator of the animatronics gets killed by one of his creations. And again, sister location doesn't change, and it gives us some really juicy information. <sighs> juicy. I just want to see this. Should I do more FNAF theories? Look at that! Over a hundred people. But like, it has to be over a hundred because I I haven't. Because it doesn't change no matter what I put, yes or no. And 94% uh, said I said I should. Fantastic. About the game. Or just completely confuses half of us. Seriously. I, I would have thought the real ending would be the fake ending. And the fake ending would be the real ending. It's just, it doesn't make sense. It does. Today, it does make sense. It will make some sense. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What was that? Hang on, hang on. But today, we will make some sense. Oh my god! My voice today is lower than what I just made just then. And I have a high pitched voice. First things first, let's talk about what you watched for the first minute in the video. You were watching the completion of the cupcake minigame. The one that you must complete in order to reach the fake ending. Yeah. You saw the yeah. circus baby had keep given it, out keep cupcakes to multiple children, but then gets Why an is ice my cream mic when so every bad? child is fed. However, going right back to the beginning of the game, makes a girl appear and walk over to baby for the ice cream. But as soon as she gets near, baby opens up her endoskeleton and eats the girl whole. However, what you hear in the game isn't what you heard when I played it to you. No. What you heard is a part of Baby's commentary, talking to you about a story that happened that lines up perfectly with this mini game. Lazy editing. A girl Look, it's up going off the screen. To her, she grabs the ice cream. Then As Baby if anybody would be able to read all of this. Why not? Probably because the girl's soul is now in her or body. want to read it. <laughs> controlling her. But also, note the change in eye colour. In the mini game, she has blue eyes, but straight afterwards they go green, and they're green for the rest of the game. Yo, that is that's However, good editing. Something that's that's <laughs> classic. And lines up with this theory about a child's dead body being stuffed in the suits. Huh? Is this little Easter egg a guy Ooh. named Pop goes found? 
popped goes. <laughs> in the game that shows Funtime Freddy. Yeah. But in his stomach, you see two legs, a body. That is such a this bad. Body oh my is god. Okay. The storage tank. It's right next to the voice mimic or lyric. I've actually I've actually edited that same kind of scene multiple times on my channel. I've had to do that so many times. It's because um I keep talking about like evidence that kids are in these fun time animatronics. Um and in the blueprints and stuff, they're so they're made to kill. And I keep having to make this same kind of setup, like there's a luring tank, there's a voice mimic, there's a storage tank. You know, <laughs> Yeah. If Baby had this too, then this theory could hold pretty solid. But something we haven't exactly talked about yet is who the little girl is, and possibly if she is related to us, the, the character hmm. that we play as. I wonder. Something that has been bothering me since the release of Sister Location is the fact that the voice acting in this game is way more developed. Than oh just no! Film, meaning we. Can oh no! <laughs> Oh, I want to die. Really dive deep into the lore. Why did I put we Alice in Wonderland in voice there? Actors, one for Handy, one for a little girl. Why? Why did I zoom into Exotic Butters? Did I think that was baby. funny? <laughs> what is interesting is what the little girl says every night, and how when it is all put together, it makes just a little story. We can skip all this, I've heard this many times. Wait, I put one in red. This little girl can see an animatronic that can make balloons. Animatronic! And says that she is pretty and shiny. She goes up to her while her father, the creator of the animatronics, isn't watching. And then what happens? Well, if this is the little girl we've been talking about so far, it's pretty obvious. She gets an ice cream from Baby and then gets lured into her storage tank. It's a very interesting story and can mean quite no, a lot actually. It doesn't. <laughs> In just those ten sentences, a lot has been given away. She is the daughter of the creator of the animatronics. Wow. Is that, you might ask? William Afton. <laughs> co what was with the long Henry. pause for? <laughs> also purple. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Oh, I think it said purple guy. Corona with Henry of the Freddy. F yeah, you can see <laughs> it says also purple guy, but because there's no drop shadow on it or like a background, <laughs> it just says also purple. Tronics. This is from the book Silver Eyes. But how do we know that the book? Well, I didn't is read at that time. To sister location. Well, that's pretty easy. At the beginning, when you first run the game. You hear Williams Afton's name being said, and Scott Cawthon even said so himself, that the whole game is canon to the book. So... Oh big question, no, I'm such a who, bad influence. Who, who are you? <laughs> I don't know. You're related in I don't know anymore. I'm you apparently, and you I don't want to be. You the of this girl, and I'd like to that say editing. that the evidence all points to it being... William Afton himself. No, you're wrong. <laughs> First of all, in the book, <coughs> it is revealed that William is the purple guy. And <laughs> who do you see looking at you in the mirror in the real ending? A guy with purple eyes. <sighs> it was a good theory at first. I mean... Point number two. The girl addresses you as daddy. And that's all you hear, almost haunting. True. So, that must mean that you are the dad. Point number no, three. And, and <laughs> on night four, you are in a spring lock suit, supposedly spring trap, which lines up to the purple guy jumping into a spring shop. Whoa, 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 whoa. In night four, you're in a spring lock suit, supposedly spring trap. I don't know about you, but this does not look like spring trap, and spring trap's face does not open. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of puppety. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know whose mask this is, but it's definitely not spring trap. You got the wrong end of the stick there, man. It's up to the purple guy jumping into a spring trap, a spring trap suit. It would line up with that. Spring. I agree. 
but it could be like but father like son. You may have already pointed out. I'm I'm just going way too far with this theory. You are. And I'm looking. <laughs> I'm overlooking some crucial details. You are. For oh example, no. If you're the purple guy in Knights Three, why don't you die in this spring trap suit in sister location when you actually died in FNAF Three? Or if you die in the real ending of Sister Location. I can explain. <laughs> um, you know what I said before about lazy editing? Yeah. <laughs> the whole ending of this is just Squidward dabbing. Actually are and what the real law is for Sister Location. Oh no. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the exotic buttons. I know, they're exotic. Exotic buttons. <laughs> Don't, because it would just pull the video. Exotic buttons. Ah, oh, I love exotic buttons, do you? Don't you? So new eggs, Benedict. They all seem to be foods, I don't know why. <laughs> what, like casual bongos? I should stop talking, goodbye. That was cancer. That was actually... What was that? <laughs> so that was my old FNAF theories. Let's have a look at some of the comments. <laughs> this is the first time I'm going to read your comments. Actually, well, no, it's not. I read everyone's comments, but I don't heart them all. Oh, should I be a troll and just heart every single one of these comments? <laughs> um, anyway, so when Scott said the books and games are canon, he didn't say they are in the same timeline. Also, it's Mike. I hate people who don't look at the date that the video is published, because this was published um, October. October. Tw oh my god, I have the script here. <laughs> yeah. Um, although this was published on October twenty seventh, twenty sixteen, um, a year ago, somebody commented that I was wrong. Um, yes, I am wrong because it. This was three years ago. <laughs> um, reason baby does not have a storage tank is because it's supposed to crush kids when they get scooped inside. Oh my god, this is one of my first comments. Oh, shout out to Stervider X, <laughs> who said, Dude, why don't you be a detective? Not joking or messing with you. I mean, you identified all these things. You can be a great detective. <laughs> Thank you so much. Josh also was, was, very, was a late bloom. Wait, no, not a late bloomer. An early bloomer. When's the next one coming out? It's been a while since you uploaded and you said you had to wait a whole week, but over a month has passed, so please make a new video! And he also said it was really good. <laughs> a lot of followers. What was the most recent comment? Newest first. Two weeks ago! Two weeks ago, somebody found this video and was like, uh, I don't think you are the dad, you are playing as Michael Afton, William Afton's son and Elizabeth Afton's sister, William did die in Springtrap. <laughs> well, that is going to be it for today. Um, guys, tell me if you liked this video by liking below, obviously. Uh, that premiere is over that you saw before. Anyway, um, if you want me to do this all over again, I will. Because... I have a load of crap theories, <laughs> I'm just going to say. Um, this one, I remember this one being really bad, I don't, I've forgotten what this one's all about, but I think it's about you being entered. And it only got 1,000 views compared to 12,000, um, so it's not as good, but if you guys want me to do a part 2 and 3 and 4, uh, and just re-watch all of my stupid theory videos then make sure you leave a like because I will do that um, I will be happy to do that so leave a comment below thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later goodbye